For decades, Ghana has been importing simple and common items such as covers of drains, maho covers, fire hydrants, sewer and water pipes, among others. But this is to end soon. The Ghana Atomic Energy Commission Foundry and Machine Tooling Centre comes with a computer numerical control, CNC, that has a wider scope and will be a backbone to Ghana's agriculture, automotive, construction, transportation and metal and plastic work industries. Accuracy, consistency and complex cuts will be hallmarks as the CNC manufacturing processes will utilize computerized controls to operate and manipulate machine and cutting tools to shape stock material. For the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, the foundry is coming into being at a time Ghana's nuclear agenda is chalking up successes which the foundry will feed into. As the country progresses with the nuclear power program, it will become imperative to acquire the required equipment and to build the appropriate local technical competencies in order to produce the needed capabilities for the nuclear power plants. That is what we call localization. The Minister for Environment, Science and Technology and Innovation, Professor Kwabina Fimpo-Boatin, says nine months is good enough time to complete the project. I am acutely aware that this is the beginning of the journey towards true industrialization of the country. There is no turning back. This is a disruptive undertaking that will change this country forever. This project, Mr. President, has the potential to be amongst your greatest legacies for Ghana. President Ekuvado said the center would develop and grow the talent and skills of the youth. These facilities and associated workshops will be equipped with tools and machinery to provide agro-processing machines and equipment, farming implements, and spare parts for maintenance and repairs. The facilities of this center will provide technical support for policy initiatives of governments such as One District, One Factory, which is already in place in many districts across the country and is providing jobs for many of our youth. More importantly, the Foundry and Machine Tooling Center will put us in the position to develop and grow the talents of skilled and innovative young Ghanaians who graduate from our schools, colleges and universities. The laying of the foundation stone for the Foundry and Machine Tooling Center is setting the pace to open opportunities which will provide important industry solutions and build local competencies. The CSIR is expected to add two more foundries, making a total of three in the country.